Hey everyone, this is Laura and welcome to my channel. I'm very happy to have you here. And if you're new, please consider giving me the thumbs up as it really helps my channel, but also by subscribing, leaving me your comments. I love to hear from you guys and make sure to turn on your notifications so you know when we have new content to share with you. All right, so let's get started as I show you how to make one of these super cute wire Christmas ornaments. So the materials we are going to use for our little Christmas ornament is a 14 gauge aluminum wire. So we have a green and a red. Uh, beauty of this project is that you're not locked into any particular colors because it is an ornament. And then we have our rebar wire as well. I've got a knitting needle. And you can use anything cylindrical. You could use a, a, a pencil or a skewer or something as well. We have our large, heavy snips, and that's primarily for this here. We have our barrel nose jewelry pliers, a pair of chain nose pliers, and then this one uh, we'll use for uh, making our, our bale for our project and then you need a cylindrical item of some sort uh, fairly large actually so this one is um, about almost seven centimeters across or uh, two and three quarters inches two and a half two and three quarters inches so uh, fairly substantial diameter on this <clears throat> and then uh, we have uh, some crystals here and we may or may not use those I just have them out here um, in in case we decide to all right so let's get started Okay, so we're going to work right off of the spool to start off with with this a project. So we're going to just pull out the length of this wire. And once again, this is about a 12 gauge wire, so it's fairly, fairly sturdy. And then we're just going to take our cylindrical object, whatever it is that you decide to go with. And we're going to wrap it. Uh, let's do two wraps, and then that way we're sure to have enough wire. Then we're going to just snip that off there, putting that aside. And then so we have this really great little coil here. So, and we want to find what should, what is going to be approximately the center of our coil of wire and then we're going to take our knitting needle or pencil or whatever it is that you've decided to use to make your coils and we've just made this little loop and like I said it's approximately center I actually am um, off by probably a couple of centimeters from the looks of things um, and I can tell that because of where the ends meet, right? <clears throat> anyway, no big deal. Okay, so then we're going to kind of straighten out our wires a little bit. And then we're going to bring this back in. And we're going to bend this back around. Back around our object. Okay, so you can see it's already already taking shape here, taking form, right? Okay, so we do want to find, you know, have these overlap what would be our center point. So what we're looking for is we're looking for it to be straight across up this way. Taking our chain nose pliers, we're going to grab both of those wires and we're going to just fold that one straight up and then you can use your barrel nose pliers for this or your bale making pliers it doesn't really matter and then we're just going to bend that wire around so that will be our hanger on our ornament so holding on to that there, we'll grab our chain nose pliers 
And what we're looking to do here is just adjusting that. Okay, so we're looking to take, yeah, see, and it's going to slip. So you want to want to go slowly with this. Okay, so what I did is I took that wire and I just wrapped it once around, once around what will be our hanger. So it's a pretty basic shape, pretty straightforward there. I'm going to be just a little bit less circular. So I'm just pulling evenly on both sides of the wire here. So it's made it a little bit more ovate versus circular. Okay, and then we're going to go in and we are going to cut off these wires. So first we do one, and that one kind of went flying a bit. We try to avoid that, <laughs> if at all possible. So that didn't really compress, and that's the thing with this wire is because it's so darn heavy. Sometimes you have to really strong arm it to make it, make it do what you want it to do. Okay, so that was one. So now we're going to take the second one. Do the same thing. That's better. I was hanging on to that end. Okay, awesome. You can still see it sticking out there. Like I said, sometimes you just have to strong arm this stuff. Okay, that may or may not end up being an issue, but we really do try and get rid of those pokey, pokey ends. But that's what was going to be our, the back of our ornament anyway. Okay, so now we're bringing in our wire again, our 12 gauge. Okay, and then introducing our knitting needle again. We're giving ourselves a good, a good length here, and this is probably about 12 inches. So let's go with that, or perhaps 30 or so centimeters. And then we're going to start at that point, and then we're just going to start to wrap. You can leave a little bit of a tail there too. Pull this off and I'm just going to cut it off for ease of ease of use with it. And then we're just going to, this, this can be rather tricky guys, so be patient with yourself. Take your time while you do this and all I'm doing is I'm just flattening out, flattening out this coil. I'll show you in a second here to make these rings, if you will. Okay, so flattening out the loops. And sometimes this goes well, and other times not so much. And you have to remember with wire, the more you work with it, it hardens it. It's kind of a science behind um, wire and its behaviors. So, it can get super hard super fast all right so just just so you know okay so you can see how it's starting to starting to flatten out take some shape Okay, so straighten out this end as well. Like that. All right, well, we're getting there. Still a little wonky, but it's all good. Warbly, I guess. Okay, working to get. 
a little more even. And I'm not a big fan of what's happening here with this one here. So I'm going to back it up a bit. And do this, just straighten it out. There we go, a little rounder. Okay, fabulous. There is our swirl. Okay, so for this one, we're going to put it in the center. And, um, you know, you can, you can put it either way. You could put a diagonal if you want and do like one, two, three, um, or even just two, one this way or one that way. Um, there's a lot of variables to this. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the center. And I like to start in the center actually because it stabilizes our project. Okay, so deciding where that's going to land on the armature of our ornament. And I've probably done that a little bit too far. So I'm going to backtrack a little bit. I'm going to pop that on there like that and that lands about perfect so I'm going to complete that complete that little loop there bring that back down we want to maintain the um, the shape of our ornament here as best we can and then same thing with this one. So we're going to bend it where our armature meets. And this is the part that's going to warp your, uh, your design if it's going to move at all. So this has squished it so that it's, it's, um, the circle is flattened out this way versus that way. So I've got it too, a little too tight for what I want it to be. So then... What I'm doing is I'm going to straighten this out a titch and then I'm going to give it a little bit of a bend just there we go that is going to be perfect I think all right like so flattening that out well, that's nice and tight. See how it, uh, it didn't want to slide very easily? So that's perfect. And just yank it on it, getting it nice and tight. Okay. So we're not too shabby here. I don't mind that at all. Okay, so we're going to make sure that these wires are bent back to the back of our project. And that's just going to keep all those pokey ends towards the rear of our project. Okay, so we've gone a little, a little wonky here. Pushing that up and then pushing it down. Watching the shape of our ornament. Flattening this out again. Okay, cool, there's that. All right, so the next part, I think what we'll do is I will bring in some of our 18 gauge 
utility wire and I apologize I did not add this to our um, materials when we started so um, this is very greasy as well um, often more so than what the rebar wire is even so be aware with your surfaces and try and wipe it off if you can all right so now we're going to take a really good length of this and I think we will add some of our crystals so what I'm going to do is just start by adding this wire to our armature Alright, and then so I'm just going to freehand this because this wire is super, super easy to work with compared to the 12 gauge. So I just made one little loop here and then I'm going to throw on a, a crystal here, pop one of those on like so and then I'll put in another Another little loop. we go that gives a little bit of added bling to that so then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do another one along the bottom here and there we go super cute little shiny shiny little ornament all right now we're going to do the same thing out of our aluminum wire okay so I think we're going to Make the body of it green and then all right so we're going down around twice ish and then finding what is approximately the center wire here nope I did that incorrectly sorry it is approximately the center here <laughs> oh my goodness okay we're going to take our knitting needle again we're going to just wrap it around the knitting needle just to make that little loop on the bottom reintroducing our container here. I'm going to wrap this around again. Finding what is more or less our center. And then we're going to bend that one straight up. So you see the difference in, in the aluminum wire? Like it is just a huge difference. Okay. So then we take and we are making our little hanger like so okay and then wrapping this wire around the top trying to maintain our shape as much as possible and you know what these ones I'm going to leave because we are going to use them as part of the design for our ornament okay like so all right so this design will be a little bit simpler a little bit easier to do so what we're going to do is just do a line across here and a line across here and then we'll do some sort of a swirl in between so we're quite simply just finding a spot um, 
finding a spot on the side of our the edge of our ornament and I am going to bring in these pliers so and that we're just going to stretch the wire across like that bending it so that it fits fits our ornament Wrap it around the armature. Okay, and I'm not going to squeeze that like super, super tight yet because I want it to be, I want it to fall, I want it to land in a specific spot. Okay, right about there. So now we can squeeze this together and really squeeze that down. Okay, like so. To it. So then, once again, I just see we got a little bit of a warble there. There, perfect. Okay, so once again. We're going to take our wire. Actually, I quite like it. I prefer it up like that. And that in nice and tight. All right, so we're going to spend a little bit of time straightening these out. Okay, like so. All right. So I think we will. Hmm. What will we do? Let's bring in. Yeah, let's bring in the green again. Okay, so we're giving ourselves a nice length here. Knitting needle, popping it off, and you just see how much easier it is creating those coils with the aluminum wire. Really, is an amazing product. See, look at that! Bam! Easy peasy, and yeah, they're not all. They're not all exactly the same, same size or same distance apart, but uh, honestly, that does not bother me. And you know, I mean, if you're if you're stuck on that, um, in the sense that you absolutely want them to be the the same size, then just really take your time with it. Okay, because you can do it. It is possible, um, but it does take patience to make it happen. All right, so I'm going to say we are long enough here. flattening that out. Okay. Cool. Isn't that sweet? It's just so pretty, isn't it? Okay. So now these we're just going to take. I've got a, um, a skewer here. And we're just going to just curl these. Sort of make little vines or little ribbons so 
So just like that. And I like to close these ends. Close them up so that they're not snagging on stuff. Like so. Cute! And then, yeah, you can just play with your wires. Straighten them out. Isn't that pretty? What a nice little embellishment. So you could do exactly the same thing with this one, or you could go ahead and you can uh, you could add ribbon to it. Um, you know, like really uh, play around and uh, go with whatever materials that you have hanging around. So there you go guys, there are our super cute little wire Christmas balls, or Christmas baubles if you will. Um, I'd just like to say thank you so much for popping by and joining me to make this really great little project. I really appreciate you being here. And don't forget to give me the thumbs up as it really helps my channel. Subscribe, comment, and click the bell to get the channel notifications. So for now, thanks again for being here. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you soon.